Now, there's good news, and of course there's bad news. So the good side we heard yesterday with the cup bear, the baker is hearing this story and hearing all the good things that Joseph is sharing. And so he thinks, okay, it's my turn now to step up on my dream, so tell me the good news. The problem is the baker's news is not so good. And then so Joseph explains to him that, listen, you're gonna get out of prison, but it's not gonna be such a good ending. There are so many people out there that are waiting for that other shoe to fall. They're waiting for it to drop. They're waiting for the bad news to come. Things are going great and they're just waiting for God to quote unquote get things even to make everything right. Or they're waiting for the world to step in and take everything away from them. You know what, that's not how we live. God does not give us a spirit of fear. He gives us a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. And for those that are resolved with him, they can rest in that. But that unfortunately is not a lot of the world that we live in. They're waiting for this bad thing to happen. And bad things do happen to good people. It's just part of who we are and where we live. So Joseph shares this news with the baker and all the baker can do is just sit there and wait. But he also shared the good news with the cupbearer and now it's up to the cupbearer who has the opportunity to help Joseph. And so Joseph turns to the cupbearer and he says, listen, both of you guys are getting out, but you, Mr. Cupbearer, when you get out, don't forget me because I was here to help you in your time of need and I need you to do the same for me. So what happens? What's the next step? Uh, we'll have to wait and see tomorrow.